Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Woo, have not been up here. Man, it feels like a year, but it's uh, it's just probably been about six or seven months. Uh, it is summertime, and the pigeon trapping videos are firing back up. Y'all have been wanting to know when we're going to fire them back up. Well, it's time. So I have uh, two roofs that I... Uh, pigeon trap on and last year this is exactly where I put this bad boy and this is exactly where she sits thank goodness I was worried about it possibly blowing away but uh, both traps that I'm running uh, both of them have been sent from you guys uh, one of them is this one this was sent by a father-son duo and really nice guy uh, I forget your name's bear bear something on instagram i know i'm horrible with names but thank you thank you they sent this uh to me and i have a homemade one that we're going to put up at the next location when we're done here and it's a nice little unit but i'm getting them set up i brought my bait this is uh what i use for bait bright bright yellow whole corn that's right that's all you need uh because as you can see it stands out on that black roof really, really well. Then pigeons can see it. I mean, like, really see it. Really, really easily. So, what we're going to do, we're going to bait this bad boy up. Uh, we're going to scoot her back so she's out of the wind a hair bit. And then, throw some inside. Now, we're going to go ahead and bait these traps. Um, I doubt that will catch anything for a little bit so we're gonna run this video for quite some time uh, we might run this video for up to two weeks just because i think i'm a little early um on the trapping the, the good trapping because come spring like right now uh the pigeons have babies down probably already and or having babies and so it's definitely i'd say a month out to when those babies uh, start flying and that's when you really start trapping a ton of them because the babies they're like juvie snow geese they're real dumb and they do not mind walking into a trap now not saying that's all we trap is young birds but all I'm saying is that you trap a lot more now y'all know that have been here on the trapping videos and in, uh, in this location right here, we have trapped a lot of old birds in this trap, as well as last season trapped a hawk on accident in this one right here. So we're going to close her up. That's all we need to do here. I am going to throw out some bait just to get some attention, show them that there's some food here, and hopefully We'll get a good reaction. Let's head to the next spot and uh, get that trap set. Woo! Well, we're up here. This is the homemade pigeon trap that y'all built. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm horrible with names and I forgot your name, but thank you so much for sending me this beautiful trap. I was uh, really, really curious to see what all traps were gonna be up here. Um, last year, y'all remember Got into the little bit of the spoof with the other guy that was up here. Uh, Jordan was trapping up here last year. Um, I really want to get started on it pretty heavy and hit it early here by myself. Uh, but this trap is up here. This one here, this is my bucket, but this trap's here. There's no water in it, no food. I'm guessing that that is the one guy, the one gentleman's I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to come over here to mine and I got to go get a water bowl. I forgot water bowls. Here's mine. It's a fancy dancy rig. It's got a little walk through, a little swing gate now. Uh huh. It can't come back out of. It's a nice one. I think I'm going to set it right here. Um, man, there's a lot of pigeons. Lots of pigeons landing up here. Uh, like I said, the babies. There are probably still a lot of babies up in here, I imagine. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, lots of pigeons lay eggs 
and hatch their young up in here. I have not been up here in quite some time. Oh, look. There's an egg. There's some eggs. Okay, by the looks of it, there's a lot of eggs up here that have not hatched yet. Yeah, look at this. Look at that, more eggs. So, that tells me that we're pretty early, which is what I wanted to do, um, to get started on it. Give it a whirl. Let's give it a shot. Dump it right in the center of it. Now this trap, I have a feeling we're gonna catch something in pretty quickly. So I'm gonna check it literally every single day. I am gonna bring back some water and throw in it, but I wouldn't be surprised if we catch one today. Uh, it's midday right now, about 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, let's see how she goes. Oh boy, all of you that have been here for a while. You know me, I'm always complaining about them steep stairs. Well, we're up here. I got my new bucket and traps have been set for over a week and we haven't caught anything. I got a new bucket and it's not working out well. They've been set for over a week and we haven't caught anything yet. I'm hoping today's different. It rained a bunch last night. It's beautiful weather now. The pigeons should be out and about. Let's go. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. Do we have anything? Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, pigeon trapping is back, boys and gals. Let me make sure I shut the door here. Yes! We have success! Check this out. I love this trap. I love this trap. Now, oh boy, we got a bunch in here. Check all this out. Oh, <laughs> all feral pigeons. Now, if you are new to the channel, these are all feral pigeons that live in the city. Uh, for one thing, there's no trapping season on pigeons. There is no hunting season limitations on pigeons. You can trap them, you can hunt them. They are an invasive bird. So, that being said, uh, the pigeon hunting, the pigeon trapping, I got a plan. Got a good plan for the trapping all summer long. Gerald actually found a guy that does dog training that wants them and he is willing to pay top dollar for all of my pigeons. So what I already did in this last week that I've been trying to catch them, uh, for one, I've moved the traps a bunch, I've baited, I've used different bait. But the third thing and most important is I revamped the entire pigeon loft at home. So we're gonna be able to keep all of our feral pigeons at home separate from our pet pigeons. That way, if any of these birds either carry a disease or something bad, they're not gonna infect my pet pigeons. So I'm gonna gather them up. It looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight birds. <laughs> yes, that feels rewarding right there. That feels rewarding now. A lot of you are probably going, will you trap those poor animals just to sell them and make money? No, I don't. First of all, I trap them for this business owner. I know him and these pigeons have been a huge, huge nuisance to this business for a long time. I have probably trapped in the last three years, I've probably trapped, I don't know, I would say a good couple hundred pigeons just off this roof right here. Look at this guy. He's just coming in. What are you doing? Where are you going, dude? Where are you headed? This rooftop is a pigeon magnet, as you can tell. So, oh look, three more. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm gonna get the trap baited. I'm gonna get the birds out of here. Um, I'm gonna get them down. I got a new little carrying cart for them down in the truck. Heck yeah, smash the thumbs up, boys. We still have to go to the next destination with the homemade pigeon trap. I'm weary that that one's gonna work good, so. Alrighty. Let's uh, go ahead and give some of these birds a look as we pull them out. I love this part. This is the re rewarding part, getting to see what you caught. That there, it's an older bird. All these birds look really mature. Uh, what I've been noticing is 
I don't believe a lot of pigeon eggs have hatched yet. So we should catch, as of right now, a lot of these older, good looking birds. Look at him, no bands on him. Now, why I'm checking for bands, for one, you can accidentally trap uh, other people's lost, lost birds. Come here, buddy, whoa. And what I mean by that is people's pets do get out and you can trap them. And usually they're homers, that would be epic. Jordan actually trapped a few of those last year. And we can also trap some of the ones that we've already trapped before. And the ones that have gotten out of, jo of uh, Jordan's big barn lofts. Look at him, he's pretty. He's got some little bit of auburn in his wings. Man, good looking birds. Glad it's working, I'm so glad. Pigeon trapping's back. Dude, oh, easy guy, just slapped me. First one in. This guy also, big old blue bar, no bands. Good looking adult bird. I'll be darned, these are awesome birds here. Another adult, good looking blue bar. Man, old birds, they look awesome. All right, I'm gonna hurry up and get these birds downstairs out of this bucket before they lose too much air in there. I don't like using this bucket. It's a new thing that I gotta, I gotta customize it. I have to use the bucket because I have to get all, all of my water that I fill up with, all of my bait that I rebate with, and my camera, so. Whew. Well, we are at the next location. And looks like I got some climbing to do. <sighs> Hopefully no one messed with my trap. So this trap, I've been checking and it still don't look like anybody's been up here that's good i've been checking it and we haven't been having near as good as luck as the other one because it's homemade and big shout out to the to y'all but i think it's a father and son that made it for me it's a it's a beautiful trap but it has a step on it and they got and the birds have to step up into it and that's why i don't think it works as good as the other ones let's get up here and give her a look well i called it I called it. Nothing in here. Look at that. Darn it. Man, 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 man. Are they getting out? It looks like some have been in there. Looks like some fresh bird poop in there. Wonder if they're standing on top of it and pooping down in it. That could be it too. Wonder if they're getting out. So this is what I'm referring to. This right here, it's got this ledge, right? That they have to step onto and then go in. And my other one is flush with the ground and they can just walk right in. There's none of this step stuff. So I'm wondering if that is hindering it because this spot has way more pigeons than the last spot. Just fl flying around and living here and everything else. Woo. Well, back home, I just got done building the new addition to the pigeon loft. And before we put these bad boys in there, uh-huh, their new temporary home that is, I wanna show you guys, because when I put them in there, I really wanna leave them alone. Uh, they've been tossed around all day in the trap and in that little cage. So I wanna show you it before we get them in there. Check it out. Uh, so what I did, this used to be the chicken coop. The chicken coop is now on a separate part of the property, uh, closer to the house. So I patched up this side of the chicken coop. It's all closed in. And what's awesome is we have a wall, a fence wall here that divides my pet birds. You all know the pet birds and the feral pen loft. Now, got it already, got their food bowl, got their water bowl already. Got them some living, a couple buckets screwed up. Uh, got them some good ledges to walk on. I need, one thing I don't have is lids for the buckets. Old Jordan, y'all know and love the bearded man himself, Jordan. He showed me this trick, but I need to go get uh, lids that you cut in half and you put half of the lid on. So that way their little homes are somewhat enclosed. But for now, it will work perfect because 
All we really need is just a temporary holding area for the pigeons, for the feral, for the trapped pigeons that is, so we can sell them. I'm not gonna hold these pigeons for very long. At most, probably a couple weeks. Uh, every about 20 of them, I'm gonna have to sell off. Now, I'm selling them to a uh, dog trainer named Zach. Uh, Gerald's really good friends with him, so how it's gonna work is Gerald will pick them up, take them to him, and then just give me the cash later on. But right now, uh, I don't wanna let the bag, I don't wanna let the cat out of the bag too much. When we do end up selling them to the dog trainer, I'll be upfront and honest with you and I'll let you know how much I'm selling per bird and what we make off of them. So it's really interesting. It's a new little side hustle, you know, and uh, anybody can do it. It's real simple. I now have the room, the setup to actually do it myself. It'll be fun. If you guys are interested in the selling of the pigeons, maybe heck, uh, if the dog trainer has enough, we might even take them to auction. There's a little uh, country auction that Jordan goes through that Jordan goes to quite a bit and my wife has been wanting to go for a while, we could even sell them there. So, lots of fun things to come with these pigeon videos. Look, Whoa. look what daddy trapped today. Trap today. <laughs> oh yeah, I trapped them today, isn't that awesome? Wow. Isn't I that can cool? see the pigeon. What yeah. are you doing with them? I'm gonna show you, I already made the new pigeon loft, come on. Uh -oh. oh look, Bodie's all about it to date. What do you think? Prettier. Well, I think now our feral pigeons are gonna have a nicer pen than our <laughs> I know. poor homies. Well, over there, I didn't want to combine them because, for one, disease. Yeah. Uh, the feral pigeons can have a disease, and they could kill the rest of our pet pigeons. And for number two, we got four eggs on the ground over there. Oh, really? Like yep. literally on the not ground? On, no, not oh. on the ground. In the nest. Bit. Well, you need to give them some more nests just like you did. I know, but this is temporary. Those are cool. I know. Do you like it though? Yeah, it's You going to help me feed them and take care of all of them now? I, I need can't your help. I promise that. No, oh, come sorry. on, pretty girl. It's not <laughs> all right, let's let them in their new home. <laughs> Don't grab them. Hold on. Come on. This is come so on. pretty. Yep, yeah, they are. Come on. Come on. <laughs> let's go. Oh, that one's got his head. There you go. Oh, goodness. What Might get squirrely in here for a minute. Yeah. Come on. All right. Here we go. All right, let's all get out of here and leave them alone for a minute. All right. Well, there we go. All right, Bodie, you cannot open this, okay? They will all vanish if you open this door. Bodie's not supposed to open the door, okay? Oh, you better not. I'm serious. Well, there's starting to calm down what you guys doing in there huh you guys doing all right that guy he's pretty comfy already there we go eight in the new loft i like it i got everything in one little area if i need to add anything y'all gotta let me know down below uh, i'd like to add a couple more boxes give them some more comfort and security uh, but we're going into summer now. I don't have to worry about them being cold or their water freezing up like this last winter with my pet pigeons. Everything is good to go. Plus, taking them to sell, I think it'll be extremely interesting. So y'all have to stick around. Uh, getting ready to do a pigeon hunt with Jordan. Uh, got some awesome videos coming, y'all. So stay tuned. I know uh, it's not hunting season, but guess what? The videos that'll be coming all summer long are pretty darn entertaining and I would say subscribe. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button, you know. I'm going on my fifth year of being a YouTuber. So, I feel like I'm figuring it out, and I feel like I'm making better videos for you guys. Again, please let me know. Smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video, but we'll see you guys on the next one. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl